One is physically, he's matured, he's a man now. You know, now that he's about 26 years old, Homer Bailey is. I mean, much stronger, uh, able to repeat his delivery better than when he first came up to the major leagues. Uh, from a mental standpoint, I think that being around big leaguers and knowing what kind of uh, effort it takes on a day-to-day -day basis to put in to be able to get good results, he's finally figured that out. I mean, a lot of kids who are drafted number one and they're the, the hottest thing in their own county, uh, they come out thinking, well, I blew a whole competition away here. I'll just do that right up the ladder in pro ball. Well, everybody's a, a number one draft pick or so when you finally get to the major leagues, or at least a lot of them are, and Homer gets it now. I think he gets the idea of how much effort it really takes that when he sees guys like Joey Votto and, and Brandon Phillips who are, are extremely talented out there every day working on their craft when he sees Johnny Cueto running up and down the stadium steps tirelessly uh, pushing the other guys to do the same thing Homer realizes I've got to put the same commitment together I think it started last year for Homer in the offseason to prepare him for this year. He's bigger and stronger around the shoulders. He has not had a setback as far as his physical condition goes. You know, he had a loose shoulder syndrome last year. And in every season besides this one, he's missed time. But he's strong and ready to go. I think the young man has got a long major league career ahead of him. And while nothing has been announced, he is set up to be the fourth starter in the postseason. Well, I, I don't know. I, I guess the way it looks right now, yes. The, uh, the way that they have flip flopped their rotation around the Reds that is so that they now have Johnny Cueto and then looks like Bronson Arroyo set up to pitch the second game and then Matt Latos the third game and then Homer the fourth and if there is a fifth then you're able to bring Cueto back for that. Boy didn't that that young man pitch well yesterday. Well, Matt Latos is I think he really feels that he has found a good home here. Pitching for a ball club that is a championship caliber club instead of pitching against championship caliber clubs for a team that has always been kind of the doormat of the league while he's been there. Talking about the Padres where he came from. You know, he he really feeds off that home field energy. I tell you, in he the sure playoffs, does. he may come out throwing 110 miles an hour. The guy has got so much talent. And it's all been for Latos a matter of putting it together. Of course, he was the man on the mound last Saturday when the Reds uh, clinched the National League Central, and that was a tremendous atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And you know, bringing Latos on board, I think, probably helped Homer Bailey because Homer Bailey's older than Matt Latos. Yeah, and, like two years. And so that Matt Latos is 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 a, is a is, you know build higher on the marquee. You know, it's it's Cueto and Latos, and then somewhere down the road, you know, competing for the number four spot is. You know Bailey and Leak, so I think that Bailey says, "Hey, you know I can be as good as Matt Latos. Why not?" Good pitch right there, man. They just keep going back to that same spot on McCutcheon, and he's yet to show anybody he can get down there and do it. I, I wonder why he's hitting 340 against all the other teams in the division. And he's hitting 240 against the Reds. What scatter report are the Reds getting that these other teams aren't? Well, whatever it is, I hope they keep getting. It. Bailey looking now for his third one two three inning. Garrett Jones bounced out to the right side his first time. Jones has had decent success against Homer. Nine hits including a home run coming into this game. And a 333 average. One nothing Cincinnati. They scored in the first. After scoring two in the bottom of the ninth yesterday, pull out that two to one victory over Milwaukee and close the home season at 50 and 31. In the process yesterday, drew over 23,000, ended up drawing 2,347,251 for the year, the second best attendance year ever at Great American Ballpark, second only to that first year when it opened in 2003. Gets Jones on strike, so back to back strikeouts, and now Five of them in the game for Homer Bailey. We are through four.